Hey there guys and girls, um, my name's Scott, I'm from England. Um, over in England, I'm not sure if you guys have it over here, we get people coming in from all walks of life and one of the biggest changes we've seen is with mobile phone companies. Now these things rule our lives. Now the problem with this is something's always bound to go wrong. So what do we do? We think, right, we're going to call up a company. And uh, you always find that you never speak to someone who can pretty much speak your language. Now, the problem with that is we also get people phoning us and tell us that they want to offer us new deals on our contracts because we don't really have our information hidden from anyone. Everyone's passing it around. So I'd like to quickly just give you an idea of the sort of thing that we've been through in the UK. So bear with me one second. Here's my experience of a Middle Eastern call centre. I'm going to be playing the part of the Middle Eastern call man. <coughs> Ring, ring. Hello? Hello, is that Mr. Banks? Yes. Mr. Banks? Yes? Oh, okay. Can you just confirm to me for some security questions that I would like to know your phone numbers? Oh, yes. Sevens, nines, fives. Yes. What is the name of your murder? Yes. Robertings? Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm calling you today basically into offering you upgradings from your current gradings or higher gradings of your gradings, you see. Pardons? You don't know what a grading is? Okay. Basically, we take your iPhone ings. We upgrade it from iPhone ings, four ings, to upgrade to five ings, and then basically we give you unlimited data rings and things, four rings, you know. Yes, that is correct. Okay, okay. So at this point, I'm saying to him, excuse me, I'm not really very interested, but, you know, what, what sort of deal could you offer me? And this, this is what he said. Okay, Mr. Banks, we know to have unlimited number callings, we have limited messages, and also we have unlimited datings. But unfortunately, we cannot offer you anything else for a lower price of 42 pounds and 42 pence. So I said, okay, well I can get mine down for 15 pounds. That's probably about $30, $35. He then says this to me. Okay, Mr. Banks, I'm offering you this. Now, I've spoken to my line managing, yes, and basically we can offer you a totally free. I was like, totally free? That's brilliant. Excellent. I'm, I might actually take that. What's, the, what's the, the details? So, bear with me, he goes. Okay, basically the whole details is we would give you a phone, free. We'll give you unlimited messages, free. Unlimited datings, free. Unlimited callings, free. But there is a one-off payment of £22.70 and then 12 monthly payments of £42.84. I said, excuse me, what's free about it? But sir, we are giving you a totally free phone. It is amazing phone, phone five things and things straight away from company. You are not to worry at all. I said, can I speak to your line manager, please? Okay, hold on, one minute. Bing, 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 bing. Some horrific, horrific tuning comes on. And then suddenly, hello, hello, this is line manager. How can I help you? I said, sorry, I was just speaking to some, some Indian guy. Um, who are you? Uh, my name is Jakov. I'm from line manager from Russia. I want to know if you want totally free phone, maybe totally free iPhone. I, I said, but he told me it was 40 something pound a month and a 21 pound payment. Yes, this is totally free, you see. But what's free about it? I'm um, sorry, I, I do not understand what you're saying. I said, how is it free? But basically, you're totally free. I'm, I'm going to pass you back to my friend now. Okay. So, the tune comes on again. And then I basically say to him, Right, I'm not interested, mate. Okay, sir, I'm so sorry for upsetting you. Basically, I want to say it's just totally free, and we shall call you back again tomorrow and find out if you are interested. Um, by the way, can you tell me your phone number again and where you live, please? Uh, I said a few choice words, and I said sorry. I said goodbye, and that was it. Um, that was basically one of the small advantages, or disadvantages, should I say, of, of the UK Information Act. We don't really hide any of the information. And it goes to all sorts of people, and you can get some quite funny phone calls. But that was my experience, and, uh, well, I hope you guys don't have too much of the same thing. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.